Okay, welcome back everyone. It is uh this is game one. Finally I'm getting around to uh casting the match between Team Karma and Team Gra Rat King. And uh this is in Osmodian's uh miniature tournament, otherwise known as the after party draft style tournament. And uh yeah, so uh, this actually took place last weekend on Sunday, and I'm just now getting around to it. Hopefully I get all of the games up before uh, the matches this weekend. That's my, my goal in any case. Anyway, this is game one, and we're currently looking at Team Karma or Team Kramer, as uh, he's <laughs> often referred to. Uh, Stone Cold is on the team, MP Phil. Uh, Stone Cold was on the Time Wizards as well as MP Phil. Uh, Wayward One Honky uh, were both on the Sentinels. Karma was actually on Grimm's My Team with Arsenic. Uh, Chef Paris is from the Southern Parkians. And Sam the Butcher, of course, from Gimbal Arrest. Those are all teams from the Myth World Cup that I casted. Um, Team Rat King uh, has uh, a lot of players also. Rat King was. Um, was from R3. Kremisi and Case Size were also on R3. Uh, Cave, <coughs> excuse me, C Cave and Flatland were from the uh, Thundercocks. Mandingo is drunken. He was on uh, Deer. Tiri was on uh, Grimm's My Team. And uh, oh, Switch was on Deer also. So I think that's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight on eight. So it's a pretty full game. I know uh, there are a few, uh, at least at least one player that wasn't able to participate in this match. Uh, I think that was Donsky, and I, I don't know if there was anybody else uh, because they were stuck in the lobby. As you may or may not know, uh, there's a 16-player cap to uh, the games in mid two. So. <clears throat> Just looking at uh, looking, at, I'd say that these teams are pretty evenly matched um, as of right now. So we'll s we'll see exactly how this happens, how what happens here. I'm really curious because there there are some really good players in this match, and interesting. Um, I'm going to be looking at uh, at Karma's trade here. It's really interesting. Really heavy on the archers. And uh, not so many archers here for uh, for Rat King. Pretty heavy though on the uh, on the melee. Four dwarves there. To uh, two dwarves for Team Karma. Game on. And actually, both both teams pretty heavy on the uh, on the melee. Although I don't think. Uh, let's see, eight. And ten, ten of these uh, warriors of Thel. So uh, a couple, a uh, couple, two a warrior of Thel <laughs> advantage here for uh, Team Karma. So interesting to see that the variance in the trades. Um, both teams going to be utilizing pus, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me, I got something st stuck in my throat. It seems uh, it's capture the flag. Um, as you uh, probably are already aware, if you've seen the uh, the previous match that I casted with uh, Team Giant Killer General and uh, Team Osmodian. <coughs> okay, so this is, I imagine that, uh, alright, so who is this? Arsenic, he's going to be headed to the uh, to the east here. He's kind of by himself, so he's he's got this really mobile force. There's there's nothing to slow him down, uh, and he's just going to go up and around like this. He's probably going to run into uh, Cave and Flatline, who are on the same flank. Really interesting choice to have them on the same flank, since uh, they were basically teammates. They've played a lot together. So they're going to eventually run into each other. Uh, Cave's goal, his pus goal, is probably going to scout that out. Actually, Arsenic is hewing a little bit closer to the water here. Um, in the north, we have uh, Tiri is kind of going off on his own. Really not surprised to see him on a flank. Uh, Switch is going to be supporting him. He has a couple of warriors. 
and a couple of warriors have fell to tag along as well as a dwarf and there's a, a I guess some like a a thrall, not really a scouting thrall, but just kind of there to uh, to see if anybody slips through and enters that area. They're going to run into um, <clears throat> uh, Wayward One and Empty Phil. They're going to be posted up here. And Honky as well. Although Honky, I don't know, it looks like he's running away. So they're going to scout each other out. Uh, Drunken, with his uh, aggressive style, comes in there, uh, runs in there with that goal, but uh, Paris actually bombing himself for some reason. He couldn't, uh, he couldn't get rein in that uh, Warrior of Thel in time to prevent that. Chef Paris with the dodge. Oh gosh! And Drunken messes up Chef Paris's. Uh, uh, pus packet. He is going to send another one though, so we'll see. He tosses that one down and manages to freeze the the dwarf, but also take out his own uh, goal. So this is going to be a really interesting battle here. I think uh, I think Drunken is going to be forced to retreat, but uh, I don't think he likes to do that. So we'll see if uh, we'll see what happens. He does have a. Uh, a force with less less units altogether so I, yeah he's gonna get cleaned up unless he retreats drunken though as we know not very good at retreating um, so this force in the north actually it's not really in the north is it they've they've retreated somewhat back towards uh, team karma's um, flag and they have quite a force uh, honky and Wayward One on the archers here. And if we look at uh, Switch and Tiri's force, it's mostly all uh, all melee. So they're going to incur heavy losses until they close the distance. Um, they're going to try to to look for a way around this. I think. In the mid, uh, the middle force is traditionally you know where the stalemate happens. Kremisi and K size, both from R3 kind of uh, kind of s sitting down the mid there holding it down uh, stone cold is gonna be uh, opposite them and you know with the very small force just there to uh, just there to uh, you know prevent them from moving in kind of a uh, to uh, inhibit any kind of uh, crossing there in the middle so here's cave and uh, Drunken's going to meet up with Cave. It's 89% uh, all around here. Kermisi sends in a goal. He's going to be scouting around. And uh, Flatline's going to run into uh, Arsenic. And Arsenic is going to chase him away. But uh, here in the north, Tiri is going to incur some damage from... Uh, from Honky's Bowman and Wayward One and also uh, Sam the Butcher have Bowman so there's just so many Bowmen up here in the north and Karma is actually Karma and Honky and Empifil there are so many goals and they're all just coordinating on this force and really that that was a, uh, a very well coordinated timing attack <laughs> for lack of a better word all those, uh, all the pus went down. The fire arrows went down. The dwarf, um, the dwarf threw a bottle in there that uh, I guess it did some friendly fire damage. Flag. No, Contested. it was Sam the Butcher's dwarf actually. So, um, and that's going to uh, do deal so much damage to Tiri and Switch here in the north. I think their flank is uh, is really uh, is 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 not not quite what it was at the beginning of the game and really their uh, Team Karma is up now um, you know seven percentage points or so which is uh, which is quite a bit actually seeing as how they were neck and neck moments earlier and so th here's another stalemate uh, between <coughs> the uh, Thundercocks 
uh, players Flatline and Cave and Arsenic is kind of holding this down on his own. Uh, Chef Paris is now with Arsenic across the river. So uh, Flatline and Cave are going to attempt to do what Tiri and Switch were not able to do. Tiri is still taking uh, fire. Switch manages to uh, to get out of there, but uh, you know the archers are focusing down uh, Tiri's warriors. Um, I guess uh, melee is a little bit a uh, little bit more scary in the capable hands of Tiri, so that's why. Uh, that's why they're attempting to, to take him out. And this could be big. Actually, uh, that was n that was a pretty pretty decent uh, pus bomb there. I'm guessing that was Rat King's doing. Taking out several of those warriors, but uh, Tiri lost a lot of his warriors in the process. So MP Phil is uh, chasing down Switch as Switch is en route to the flag area. I just heard a bunch of satchels go off or something. Oh, here we go. Chef Paris and uh, Drunken exchanging uh, a few uh, Molotovs there. Kermisi is going to attempt to snipe uh, this dwarf, but uh, just lose ends up losing his goal in the process. Didn't really have anything to snipe with. That Thrall is still there, posted up. We have a white in the water here. But uh, really, not not really anybody there to set it off. Um, Sam the Butcher is kind of on his way to take the flag, but isn't quite there yet. Also, uh, Honky is crossing, so this uh, this white would probably have been better off in this deep pool there, or even uh, even over here. But uh, where it currently is, not all that useful. Okay, so uh, Tiri manages to get through with a single warrior of Phil. Desperately needs a heal, though. As uh, MP Phil, it looks like he's down a warrior. Nope, there's his warrior there. So Arsenic is going to attempt to hold off this attack. It's still fairly close, 68 to 75%. Stone Cold is going to attempt to uh, snipe Drunken's Dwarf and indeed uh, succeeds. Which is, uh, which is interesting. I guess there was nothing there to back up Drunken. Here's Kremisi going around. Going around that wall there. I guess he's going to, uh, he's going to hook up with a uh, cave. And they're going to create uh, their own kind of flank to uh, maybe to, to deal with Stone Cold. Switch uh, taking a lot of damage here from these archers. And he ends up getting pus. He's going to get cleaned up here, I think. There's just so much aggro on him, and there's, there's really nothing he can do. Finally, uh, Kermisi shows up, but, uh, you know, the threat is neutralized already. As Switch uh, loses his last remaining unit. Cave is wisely backs out. He's going to take some damage here though. Ends up losing that goal, but uh, drops the pus. Not a bad trade-off. One minute. One minute remains. And uh, that pus goes down, however. I don't know if uh, I don't know if Rat King's team has enough to contest here. Uh, K size retreats to the flag, and he's going to attempt to. Uh, Thirty seconds remaining. Oh, did I miss? Contested. Maybe I did miss uh, some epic white action. I didn't quite see, but. Uh, Oh, here we go. Honky is going to engage this uh, final flag. I didn't quite see what happened to uh, Sam the Butcher. 
Maybe Sam the Butcher did get pussed after all. Or whited. I should say. I don't know if that's him or not. Something happened to him. Didn't quite see what it was. Um, but uh, yeah, in the end, it's going to be a tie as neither team was able to take the flag of the others. Um, so some good plan by both teams. I, I didn't think that uh, Rat King's team really had enough here. Arsenic had quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of units here, quite a few units, I should say. Um, so I guess he could have engaged while uh, Cave was being uh, chased by uh, Chef Paris, but I don't know. I'm not sure if he would have been able to get away with that or not. Or actually, Arsenic, uh, Arsenic is on Karma's team. What am I saying? Actually, Flatline and Arsenic were duking it out here. So yeah, no, Rat King's team did not have enough uh, melee to take this flag or units in general. And uh, Karma's team didn't have, uh, hardly had anything on offense. I guess Sam the Butcher got taken out. k size wisely moving back on to the flag to defend it against Honky. Um, and uh, Honky had really nothing there to support him either. So all in all, good, good game played by uh, players from both teams. Um, looking through, Flatline managed at 9 kills. Although for Team Rat King, uh, the most damage goes to Kremisi with 60. And uh, Chef Paris managing 12 kills, 98 damage for Karma's team. I think that's going to be the most out of everybody on the team. So uh, well played there. Um, that's game one. It's going to be a tie. So, so far, uh, no, it's, neither team has the advantage as we move into game number two.